this demonstration, we are going to use the Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure feature to restore a backup of one of my desktops as a virtual machine into Microsoft Azure. After connecting through RDP to the virtual machine, and if necessary, start the feature with the icon on the desktop, you will receive the Veeam Recovery Appliance from Microsoft Azure window. You will notice a few options, Restore, Advanced Mode, Configuration and How To. Let's quickly have a look at the How To. The How To opens the help page for this solution, where you can read on how the solution works, as you can see right here. Let's move on to the next step and do the configuration. Note that this only has to be done the first time, and any time you want to switch or add a subscription. In the initial configuration wizard, press Next on the Welcome page. On the License Agreement page, select I accept the terms in the License Agreement and press Next. On the Subscription page, you're going to need to add your published settings file. As you can see, there is a URL on that page that will guide you to it where you can retrieve the specific file. Press on that URL. You will be guided to a logon screen where you have to sign in with the credentials for your specific subscription. After signing in, a download will be initiated for that published settings file. Save it somewhere on the virtual machine. Now go back to the wizard and browse to select the downloaded file and then press Next. On the summary page, press Finish to end the initial configuration. Now let's start a restore. Press the Restore button. On the Select Backup File to Restore window, select the file that you uploaded before as we showed in a previous demonstration. The backup file will be read to see what the contents are. After that, select the virtual machine you want to restore and press the Restore button. A new wizard will open to allow you to choose all the necessary configuration for the virtual machine you are going to deploy in Microsoft Azure. First, you will notice your subscription that you added through the published settings file. Second, you will need to choose the Azure Data Center location where you want to deploy it. On the next page, you can choose the virtual machine size. By pressing Edit, you will be able to select the correct size for your virtual machine depending on the configuration you had before. You can also select a specific storage account if you have multiple accounts. If necessary, you can exclude disks of this virtual machine if it would have had multiple disks attached. On the Cloud Service page, you can make a change to the original name, including the possibility to add a prefix or a suffix. And you also need to choose in which Cloud Service you're going to deploy this virtual machine, or even create a completely new Cloud Service. Note the endpoint port that you need to make a decision on to be sure you can RDP to the virtual machines afterwards. Also note that automatically we provide you with the link you need to RDP to the virtual machine after restore. On the network page, you can choose to which network you want to connect the virtual machine. This will be a configured network already existing in your Azure subscription. On the reasons page, provide a reason and press next. Finally, review your selections and go back through the wizard if necessary or continue to start the restore. The machine is now restoring. For this demonstration, we have sped up this restore process. When the restore is done and successful, you can close this wizard and get back to our feature. Now let's have a look at my Azure subscription and see my virtual machine running. When I go to all items, I can see my virtual machine running and as you can see in my dashboard, you already see the activity. Here you can also see more information such as the public IP in case you need it. And now I can use that information to connect to my desktop that I just restored. In this demonstration, we took a backup file that we uploaded before and restored it after the initial configuration with Veeam Direct Restore to Microsoft Azure. For more demonstrations and videos, please visit veeam.com.